countries are due to attend the first African Climate Summit as the continent seeks to assert a stronger voice on a global and existential problem that is that it that it contributes the least to. Now, Kenyan President William Ruto, uh, William Ruto's government and the African Union launched the meeting on a Monday in the capital Nairobi, determined to wield more global influence and bring in fear or uh, bring in far more financing and support. It is not a secret that we are paying at least five times as much as advanced economies to borrow from the financial markets. It's a fact documented. Like many of us, a few years ago, I would have believed the challenges were too great and the barriers too high. Today, I see them differently as mere tests of our collective will and ingenuity. We should develop effective policies and regulations that catalyze investment and entrepreneurship and unleash the creativity of local business. We must transform Africa's resource wealth from mere potential into real opportunities by directing large-scale investments that will actualize the possibilities that exist and await our citizens in present and in future generations. Let's make no mistake. However, we have no choice but to approach this colossal task with clear minds and open eyes. A lot needs to happen before Africa can live up to its full potential of providing climate solutions for its citizens and to the entire world. Over the next few days, I have no doubt that African leaders seated here and our friends from elsewhere 